Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into the Gideon Marshall Paragon Planeswalker deck from Armin Cat. So you might be wondering why we're doing this, haven't we covered it already? I could not believe it myself, we actually haven't, so I thought I'd open these up, especially considering as we are taking a look at a bunch of Armin Cat invocations in the Chaos Boxes this month. So if you miss those Chaos Boxes, I'll pop a link in the corner, you can check it out. All right, so Gideon Marshall Paragon, what do you get here? Rise among the worthy. So you get a ready to play 60 card deck featuring a foil premium Gideon Marshall Paragon Planeswalker card, two Arm and Cat 15 card boost pack strategy insert and quick reference card. Okay, so let's crack this open. And uh, we will be doing the Liliana one in a future video coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, what do we have here? Okay, we just had a little instruction card there that's unusual. All right, hopefully it has not been resealed. All right, we'll take a look here at Gideon Marshall Paragon. Let's boost that lighting here. Planeswalker Gideon. So five loyalty for five. His plus two on top all creatures you control. Those creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And his zero ability until end of turn, Gideon Marshall Paragon becomes a 5-5 human soldier creature with indestructible that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage will be dealt to him this turn. Minus 10 creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Alright, so some nice foiling there. And we do get a nice deck box. So there is Gideon. Let's crack it open. We should get a couple of packs here. Okay, so two packs of Arm and Cat goodness. We'll be taking a look at that later. And of course, we get the usual quick reference card here. So a bit about casting spells and different types of lands, parts of a turn, how to win and so forth. So you can freeze frame that, check it out. So they include those in every box. And then let's take a look at this thing. So we've got this fold-out flyer here, Gideon Marshall Paragon. So a bit about learning to play magic, Planeswalker cards, playing the deck, boosting the deck. Okay, and here is the deck list in case you wanted to build that on your own. And then on the other side, Gideon Jura. So some lore there. And we've got the Deck Builders Toolkit. We actually opened that on the channel a while back. I'll pop a link in the corner to that. And of course, we've got the Liliana Death Wielder Deck. So we'll be taking a look at that one too really soon. All right, so let's get into the deck proper here. <clears throat> and if you're not familiar with Planeswalker decks, these are usually aimed at newer players. So they're not terribly uh, powerful, but they do get you started. Okay, let's move the mana base aside there. We'll take a look at that later. All right, starting off, we have a rare Hazaret's Favor Enchantment 3. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have target creature you control get plus two, plus one gain, hasten to end of turn. If you do, suck it at the beginning of the next end step. And another rare here, Glory Bound Initiate. Okay, so it looks like a two-color deck. Creature Human Warrior 3-1 for two. You may exert Glory Bound Initiate as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus one, plus three, and gains life link to end of turn. So a bit about exerting. An exerted creature won't untap during your next untap step. So that's a mechanic they introduced in Armand Ket. Next up, Gideon's Resolve, Enchantment for five. So when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Gideon Marshall Paragon. Reveal it and put it into your hand if you search your library this way. Shuffle it. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Okay, so that goes along with the Gideon foil here. So we get a couple of those. Next up we have Gust Walker. Creature Human Wizard 2, 2 for 2. You may exert Gust Walker as it attacks. When you do it, gets plus one, plus one and gains flying until end of turn. Okay, so we get a couple of those. Three of those. Nef Crop Entangler. Creature Human Warrior 2 1 for 2 with Trample. You may exert Nefcrop Entangler as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus 1 plus 2 until end of turn. Okay, so we've got a lot of um, humans here. And exerting is the big mechanic to use. Pathmaker Initiate, Creature Human Wizard 2 1 for 2. 
Tap target creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. <clears throat> and we get an uncommon honored crop captain. Creature whom warrior three two for two. Whenever honored crop captain attacks other attacking creatures get plus one plus zero until end of turn. Okay, so pumping up your creatures and some flyers, good. Companion of the Trials, Creature Bird Soldier 223 with flying for one and a white untapped target creature. Activate this belly only if you control a Gideon Planeswalker. So that is convenient. You got one of those in here. Hopefully you pull it. <clears throat> three of those. Devoted Cropmate. Creature Human Warrior 323. You may exert Devoted Cropmate as it attacks. When you do return, target Creature Crab with Command Amount of Cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, and a cat. Yes, Armand Cat. Graceful Cat. Creature Cat 2 2 for 3. Whenever. It attacks, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So, three, four of those. All right. Arn Crop Crasher. This guy was a staple in the mono red aggro decks of the time. Creature Minotaur Warrior, three, two, three. Has haste. You may exert Arn Crop Crasher as it attacks. When you do target creature, can't block this turn. So, this deck came out in 2017. In case you were not aware, that's when I started playing Magic, actually, at the time of Armanket. Three of those. Sparring Mummy, Creature Zombie, 3-3 three, three for four. So when it ends the battlefield, untap target creature. Okay, two of those. Tar Crop Elite, Creature Bird Warrior, 2-2 two, two, four with flying. You may exert Tar Crop Elite as it attacks. When you do Creature to Control, get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Hyena Pack, Creature Hyena, 3-4 four for four. So... Just a regular mid-range creature there, help fill out the mana curve, two of those. Cartouche of Zeal, Enchantment Aura Cartouche for one red, Enchant Creature Control. And when Cartouche of Zeal enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. So that was a fun thing back then, you could uh, pump up your creatures with different cartouches, so we get two of those. Impeccable Timing, instant for two. Do 3 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Some nice removal there. Trial of Zeal. Enchantment for 3. So when it enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to target creature or player. And when a cartouche enters the battlefield under your control, return Trial of Zeal to its owner's hand. So are we going to get... Nope. 3 of those. Alright. Electrify. Instant for 4. Deals 4 damage to target creature. 2 of those. And that is it. Alright, so then we'll have a squiz at the mana base here. So we've got a stone quarry and spreadful tap. Tap it for red or white. Probably getting 4 of these. Alright, and then planes. 10 of those. And 10 mountains. Alright, so very simple mana base. Alright, so it looks like a decent beginner deck. Um, Probably eclipsed by a lot of the newer stuff these days, more interesting mechanics and so forth. So leave a note in the comments what you think of this deck. Did you pick it up? Have you played it? Let me know. I actually played this one a fair bit back when it came out. This was what, one of the ones I started with, actually. Okay, Armaket Booster Pack. What do we got? We got Cancel, Bloodlust Inciter, Fan Bearer, Tarcrop Skirmisher, Colossipede, Doom Descenter, Compulsory Rest, Winds of Rebuke, Final Reward, Descenter's Deliverance, An Uncommon Sacred Excavation, Battlefield Scavenger, Renewed Faith, and the Rare Canyon Slow, not bad. It's a Land Swamp Mountain, you can tap for black or red, and Spadful Tap, Cycle it for two, alright, and a Swamp. And one of these little punch-out card things. Did anyone actually use these? Uh, most people I played against used the dice or just uh, wrote down things instead. All right, second pack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Let's hope for a lottery card here. So an Armin Cat Invocation would be very nice indeed. We have a Cartouche of Zeal, Pitiless Vizier, Spidery Grasp, Violent Impact, Blinding, or oh, Binding Mummy, not Blinding Mummy, Decision Paralysis, Honed Kopesh, Cartouche of Ambition, so there's another Cartouche, Nefcrop Entangler, Zenith Seeker, for the Uncommons, Crocodile Crossing, yes, that bloke is very scary indeed, Seraph of the Suns, 
and a mythic. Nice. Probably one of the best pulls you can get, actually, at this point. Liliana, Death's Majesty. Planeswalker Liliana, five loyalty for five. A plus one credit, two, two black zombie creature token. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Minus three. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the other field. That creature is a black zombie. In addition to its other colors and types, minus seven. Destroy all non-zombie creatures. Now, this Planeswalker is different from the one in the Planeswalker deck. This one's actually more powerful. So, pretty happy with that, Paul. And a Miasmic Mummy foil. Okay. With a Full Art Swamp. Nice. And a Tarcrop Skirmisher. All right. So, that is it. Let me know what you think. I think this was going for about 25 bucks these days. So, not too bad. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.